Okay, so this is um, an oil uh, centrifugal filter. So uh, essentially what it does is um, it uh, takes either um, motor oil or uh, fuel such as diesel or fish and chip oil and um, it filters the small, um, very small particles out of the oil. Right, and, and the, the big difference between um, a device like this and a normal filter that uses um, uh, paper, standard paper filter, like a, um, a normal engine oil filter, is that uh, this filter um, filters by centrifugal force, right? So inside it, and we'll have a look inside soon, but inside it has a, um, like a canister that spins and forces all the particles onto a wall, right? Uh, and, and this is a very effective way to filter out especially small particles. So a paper filter might be good for larger particles, but when you're trying to remove things like um, the soot from engine oil or something like that, then uh, a filter like this is really the way to go. So these oil centrifuges for a long time have been fitted to uh, large commercial vehicles like uh, trucks and uh, mining vehicles, right? And uh, uh, they're not so common in small uh, vehicles like four-wheel drives. However, the um, early Land Cruisers, the uh, H uh, series, diesel engines uh, just had a centrifugal filter, no pa paper filter, and the early 2H diesels had both a centrifugal filter um, and a standard paper filter uh, fitted to them. Also, the um, Land Rover TD5, um, which is the five-cylinder uh, Land Rover diesel engine, also had one of these um, factory fitted in addition to the standard paper filter and the uh, TD5 was well known to have long service intervals um, so Land Rover actually specified that the service interval was 20,000 kilometers however most people uh, would would replace the engine oil and the centrifuge canister at 10,000 um, but even at 10,000 that is double um, what a a standard vehicle like a Land Cruiser or a Patrol would be, all right? So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at what's actually inside this centrifuge. Um, so you can see here the, the oil uh, goes in here um, and the oil generally would come out the bottom here. So, so there's no, um, no sort of fitting as such where the oil comes out. Uh, there's just this hole in the bottom where oil would drain out. So I'm just going to remove this clamp here, like so. Again, this is this is on um, because uh, there could be quite high pressure in here when the centrifuge is in operation. So you want to make sure the lid doesn't come off. undo this top piece like so all right so here's what's inside there's essentially nothing really in there it's just a cover um, and and this is the part of the centrifuge that spins here and this just simply comes straight off like that and you'll see here uh, if you can see that but there's uh, small holes, there's two of them. There's one there, and there's one there. All right, so these two small holes, uh, the oil is pressurized in here and the oil squirts out of there and that's what causes the centrifuge to spin, right? Um, so these are the three uh, main pieces. Um, this is the bottom, all right, so uh, the little hole there too where oil comes out, and there's a seal around here, a rubber seal. Um, 
what's what's different about this particular centrifuge uh, to many of the others that were factory fitted um, is that there's no consumables in, in in this device, right? So so this doesn't need to be replaced. It comes apart and you can clean it. So all you need to do is you just undo this uh, top piece here like that and this just comes apart and this is where all the dirt or soot uh, would collect inside here. So if you have this centrifuge fitted to a vehicle it's just a matter of re removing this just like I've done and cleaning this out and putting it back together right? and you would see the dirt collecting in here. Um, this bottom piece is just um, where the oil would come in, come into the centrifuge. You can see this hole here. Um, so all, all in all, a um, pretty simple device. Um, just put it back together. It goes, comes apart and goes together very easily. Um, that just screws on there. Um, yeah, so as, as I was saying, with many of the others, you would have to replace this piece. Um, I know, know for certain that on the Land Rover ones you had to, but on this you don't have to replace it, you just clean it out. Right, and then that just goes on like so. And you would obviously make sure that this is all tight before fitting it to a vehicle. Um, then it's back together, very simple. Um, and uh, in, in here, this is where the oil comes in. And you'll, you'll probably see if you can see in there that um, there's a, a piece of metal blocking that. And how the centrifuge operates is, or how it actually doesn't start to operate until there's a certain amount of oil pressure uh, pushing on that piece and there's a spring behind there. So um, it's another feature of this. Uh, so in this series of videos, what we will be doing is we will be uh, firstly fitting one of these to um, a Toyota Hilux, right? The uh, LN106 with the 3L uh, diesel engine. Um, and although they were a very good engine, they were known for having uh, short service intervals, right? So um, it would be very interesting to fit one of these to that particular engine and seeing how it works.